Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Many of you have watched more than one of my videos, and you've noticed the logos that run uh, in the lower left-hand corner of the video constantly, as well as underneath the uh, tease to the website, live.perillo.com. And uh, I'm going to highlight one of the sponsors right now, uh, just because it's very relevant for those of you out there who have ever done any video editing or screencasting. Uh, you may have noticed one of the logos coming through is uh, shinywhitebox.com. If you go to that website, you can download a couple of pieces of software, including I Show You. There, there, there's the logo right there. Uh, I Show You, which is a screencasting application, perfect for when you need to record and encode videos for upload to the web. And then this particular application was just released the other day. This is Stomp. And calling it a video editor, well, number one, it's not accurate. Number two, uh, it is um, just a power tool for tweaking your videos. When I first saw this, I could not believe what it was that I was seeing. And so I thought it'd be nice to at least show you some of the things that Stomp can do because a lot of you guys out there ask me, well, how do you get a video ready for YouTube? How do you know what to do? Blah, 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 blah. Well, the nice thing about Stomp is, and I'm just going to zoom in a bit, uh, you can drag and drop any video into it. And it's not an editor necessarily, and I'll explain that in a second. But then you can choose a preset of how you want to encode or re-encode that video. You can select the YouTube setting, and it will automatically make it proper for YouTube. Then you can choose to recompress the video, leave the video untouched, or remove the video altogether, in which case you'd be extracting the audio. You could leave the audio untouched, recompress the audio, or remove the audio. Again, this is independent. What's interesting is that you can crop the video. And it's not just uh, something is you type in a few numbers and away you go. When you select a, a, a cropping, you can drag and drop the size that you wish to crop the video dynamically. Uh, amazing. Exceedingly simple. Uh, that was something that I, I could have used, I, I certainly in a couple of cases where I needed to edit a video and crop a video, there was no easy way of doing it. This is it. I could be done at that point. Uh, and this is, of course, a, a live video preview. Or James or anybody else, um, or by what the company can spend, is all, is there, is this is a recent interview I did uh, at uh, a, a local coffee shop with a, a couple of folks who are doing something important at uh, Microsoft. You have to watch that video separately. I'm going to turn down the volume, but I'm going to keep the video moving just to show you. Those are the presets for encoding. The filters tab is where it gets very, very, very cool. So, uh, you ever wondered how you could do a video, only re encode it so that it looked like you were a bee? Well, it's not exactly that way. But with the op tile effect, you can choose the center, you can choose the width of those blocks, you can make them small or large, you can choose the scale of which the original video is taking those blocks, uh, you can choose the, the source points, the center points. That's just one particular filter. There's also a linear gradient filter which allows you to apply a linear gradient of any two colors. Point one and point two can be adjusted with absolute ease. There's also a sharpening tool, which works exceedingly well, and you can define the sharpness on a sliding scale. What? What's that you say? You say he's, a, he's kind of a dark? Well, let's adjust the exposure a bit. That helps massively. And you can tweak it to your liking. Those are just a fraction of the filters that are found in Stomp. You can adjust the color color effects, as I said, sharpen, you can blur it in different ways, halftone effects, distortion effects, stylizing, tiling effects, which I kind of showed you, geometry adjustments, which allows you to crop as well as doing a scale or perspective transform on the video. So if you wanted to change the aspect ratio of the video, you could do it with ease. 
You can choose different blend modes. And see, this is the thing. This is a simple application. This is why I like it. Is it's not some you know, gigantic video editor. If all you want to do is apply simple video effects and filters and, and processes to a video, don't don't use a video editor. It would be overkill. If you want to edit the video and splice and dice and everything, that's when you use a video editor. But if you just want to apply effects to a certain video or clean up a video or do something with that video but not change the way things are inside the video, like, you know, editing it, this is an editor, but it's more of a tweaker, a video tweaking tool. Stomp. Uh, this is what I wholeheartedly recommend, not just because they're a sponsor, but because this is, I think, unparalleled. Uh, I've been you know, looking at software for years and years and years, and if anything would get me to use a, a, a video tool on the Mac, uh, Stomp is most certainly it. And I show you is just as good for screencasting, but I think Stomp is, is his... Uh, shinywhitebox.com this is the, this is going to be a hit this is one of the most amazing video processing tool i have ever 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 seen uh, the amount of control that you have without being overwhelmed by the controls that is the hallmark of a great application and for right under 30 bucks an absolute steal compare that to hundreds if not thousands of dollars you might spend on equivalent software that would take years to master this takes no time at all. Again, this is one of the reasons why I said, yeah, this this is a good sponsorship opportunity. A lot of the people that I go out to and broadcast to are big time into video editing and tweaking. And if you just go and download the demo and try the filters, I guarantee it, you'd buy it on the spot. Look, I can invert the colors of the video. I mean, it's, it, it's just I'm I'm just blown away. You're thinking, Chris, when would I when would I use this? Well, I mean, if you want to apply different effects to your video without, uh, just try it. Just try it. Shinywhitebox.com. Uh, as RCP just linked in there, and you'll see the the logo running through. But if you ask me what tools I use, it's not just because they're a sponsor. It's because this is an amazing tool. Get your videos ready for YouTube. Use Stomp. I guarantee you'll love it. I, if not half as much, then certainly twice as much that I do. If you know of a really cool video tool or just any kind of software uh, that's nice and, and many people may not know about it, please let me know. Email me, chris at perillo.com, and I'd love to take a look at it. Uh, and, and if it's you know worth sharing with the world, I certainly will. Uh, I don't mean to do a, a wacky uh, bump distortion effect on Will there, but uh, looks like I am in live video. <laughs> oh, this is just so much. He looks like a lollipop now. That's just kind of spooky. Anyway, uh, Chris at Perillo.com is my email address. You're, of course, welcome to leave a follow-up if you know of any other cool video tools I might take a look at. Really easy to use. Uh, tools in general, software for either uh, Windows or uh, OS X. I, I'd love to take a look at either one. And uh, you're also welcome to swing by our chat room where we're typically talking tech 24 hours a day, uh, seven days a week. And uh, you know you know where you can join us? You know you know where that's at? You know where it's at? Live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.